Jack Kirby is comic books. Jacob Kurtzberg was born today, August 28, 1917. If he was alive today, it would have been his 100th birthday. So naturally, the comic book community across all companies has been paying tribute to the king of comics, and I decided to follow suit. Jack Kirby means a lot to me because he was my gateway drug into comic books. His amazing art really jumped out at me and <laughs> made me want to purchase this volume of Fantastic Four that collected a bunch of their old stories, including the marriage of Reed and Sue Richards, the introduction of the Inhumans, who turned out to be one of my favorite collection of characters, and none other than the Galactus trilogy itself. Those three issues that introduced Galactus and the Silver Surfer really opened my eyes to how big comics can be. That's what really impressed me about Kirby. He had this ability to create entire universes in single issues of comic books. He would create like his own separate universes within other universes. For instance, when he moved to DC, he created an entire fourth world, which was this entire like cast of like hundreds of characters that were all his own within the DC universe. Eventually they folded it in, but um, originally it was intended to be its own separate thing. Speaking of characters, Kirby created pretty much the entire Marvel catalog of characters in the 60s and 70s and beyond. He created the Fantastic Four, Galactus, Doctor Doom, Black Panther, uh, the Avengers, the X-Men. Basically every major Marvel mainstay from today can be traced back to all the work that Kirby, Lee, and Ditko created. Of course these characters are still around today and they're making millions upon millions on the silver screen as they are the premier blockbusters of today. Without Kirby, there would be no MCU. Um, there wouldn't be any Justice League movie coming up because of uh, the involvement of Kirby characters like Darkseid and Stephen Wolf and the other uh, fourth world characters. That's why it's a bit of a shame that Kirby doesn't get as recognized as other uh, members of the combo community such as Stanley who constantly promotes himself, which no fault of his own, but he really stole the spotlight from Jack the King Kirby in his lifetime and beyond that because you never hear anyone talk about Kirby and his influence on the movies today that everyone enjoys and talks about. I don't want to make this entirely about the movies but that's what everyone knows currently so that's why I'm using it as an example but Kirby was just this guy who was uh, very low self-esteem but he was incredibly smart, he was a genius. His imagination had no bound because he could create characters like that, like on an instant, on a whim, he could just create an entire world for you. But even though Kirby didn't get recognition, even though he really wanted it during his lifetime, he wanted to be respected for all the work that he contributed to the Marvel Universe and to comics in general by creating so many iconic characters. He created the romance comic for Pete's sake. He created an American icon with Captain America. But despite all the hardships in Kirby's life, he loved what he did all his work as an artist and it shows as you look at like the incredible artwork that he put on display all these years and thankfully we have tons of it to look back on. Kirby's career spans the entire history of comic books itself so we have tons to mine from and tons to enjoy and go back and read. So uh, for Kirby's birthday I implore you to go back and enjoy all of his work as much as you can. So um, that's it. I know this video is a lot of rambling but I was just trying to get my feelings out about Kirby on his 100th birthday. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and long live the king.